Let's draw supply and demand for a currency, such as Australian dollar. On our x-axis, we put the quantity of the currency. In this example, it would be our Australian dollar. On our y-axis, we put the exchange rate. And remember that every time we talk about exchange rate, we have two types of quotation, direct and indirect, American and British. In this graph, I will use indirect quotation, which is how many units of euro per one unit of Australian dollar. The simple is S. Remember, if you use a direct quotation, everything will explain the graph will be the opposite. And that's why here this graph is for indirect quotation. This is our demand curve for Australian dollar, which is downward slope. And this is our supply curve for Australian dollar, which is upward slope. The point of intersection will give us our equilibrium point, And this will give us our equilibrium quantity or equilibrium amount of Australian dollar and the equilibrium exchange rate. So let's assume that if we have an exchange rate above equilibrium at S1, it will intersect with the demand curve and will give us the quantity demand. It will intersect with our supply curve. It will give us the quantity supplied. If you look here, the quantity supplied is bigger than quantity demand. It means that we have a surplus. Every time we have a surplus of a currency, what will happen to the exchange rate? The exchange rate will go down. It means that our currency will depreciate. Let's do the opposite. Let's assume that we have an exchange rate below our equilibrium exchange rate at S2. It will intersect with our supply curve and it will give us our quantity supplied of Australian dollar. It will intersect with our demand curve. It will give us our quantity demanded of Australian dollar. As you see here, our quantity demanded is bigger than our quantity supplied. It means that we have a shortage of Australian dollar. So if we have a shortage, the value of the currency will go up. It means that we have appreciation. Remember, this graph is for indirect quotation. If we use a direct quotation, it will be the opposite.